Well folks, like I said, though, um, we just uh, enclosed park in Highbrighton, also known as Dot Park, um, with the biggest Jewish community outside of London. We have this rock sculpture play area thing, what you can climb on. Um, we have that, what's unboarded, unmanned. Um, over here is the other climbing frame. Um, I've, I've already had a lot of walk around before before taking my photos and that but this is all taped off with uh, a sign saying the facility is closed because they've used me to tap tap see app as well what's just there what i'm going to get a photo of now and it's all taped off folks um, this is what the council have done to the play area. So, um, just get a photo of that, like that. There we go. Um, I'll take you over to the main play area. Now this is where I grew up. That's quite a good climbing frame, that, what they've shut off. What I, love, what I used to love climbing on here. They've buried it and chained it and padlocked it off. Um, there you go. All buried and chained off. There you go. Facility is now closed. Just on the sign there, folks. Um, Just as if people cannot lift the kids over that and hop over and go for the play in the play area, oh, that's abandoned now. Um, do a couple of shots from here. Um, yeah, so this is the now abandoned apocalyptic play area. <laughs> What they've sealed off. I'll give I'll show you the best off what they've done yet so far. What's just made me laugh even more. What beautiful. There used to be some toilets just in front of us there. Um toilet block. Um just there's this baby swing area with the dome climbing frame. What's what's the original dome climbing frame from when I was a kid? And that's been there. The big swings just over the far corner there the original. The slides is original, some of the new bits in there and that and that. But they sealed that off. And then just take a little photo of that from here. Um yeah, and just over here there used to be um a nice basket swing, a big basket, what you used to be able to sit in and swing, what used to spin round. The council, being the council, have only gone and taken it down, folks, to stop you from swinging on it. And that. So stay tuned, more coming up, share the love. We're just here, folks, in Kersledale Nature Reserve, as it's now known as, but sorry, I'm a local born and bred so far, so therefore, <clears throat> so therefore, I call it the landslide. That's what I've grown up knowing it as all my life is the lanny, the landslide. So we're back out here again, folks. Um, part of the shot I got told off. <laughs> I, couldn't, I, didn't have, I couldn't film it quick enough. I couldn't get the camera. I couldn't get the GoPro on quick enough to film it. Um, but yeah, some people told me off for climbing. Um, yeah, I was going to go climbing on, on the climbing frame, and I was going to go climbing on the rocks. And just as I touched the rocks and put one foot on it, um, I had a few people complaining and whinging and we shouldn't be doing that coronavirus this coronavirus that um that's what it was the other day that's where the toy car is just up there folks um there's water just over there um 
quite swampy water over that way. And that is old remains in there of houses and stuff. I'll take it this way anyway, because this is one of my little mysterious paths I like to walk along. I'll show you this now. It's like a little pond. But it's not a natural pond, this. This would have been someone's cellar or something back in the day. But it's a little pond, a little hidden pond. Yeah, a little hidden pond for you, folks. Um, not many people know it's actually here, yeah, this, this little pond up here. But I come up here quite often chilling. Away from people. But there's a little pond for you. Um, yeah, we're going down this section now. Just, there's a bit of a step off here. Just there where McCain is. What we're going to tackle. But today I thought I'd do um, a nature walk. Yeah, just all surrounding us is, is ivy bushes all on the floor, so you've got to be careful of trip hazard. But the ground here is quite wet and slippery. Woo! Just slipped a little bit, but oh well. <laughs> And just to the left and right of us, these logs that have been chopped down. More water down there, a little stream. Um, just taking a few photos for you. Take a few photos for the Instagram. Um, yeah, so we're just all having our daily exercise. Um, I hope everyone's keeping safe and well. Um, we're just, like I said, we're just enjoying the nature. And now I'll take you over to some old ruins and stuff. Where old houses used to be. Just there is where the old houses used to be. Just there. Yeah, I've got my rope swings in here. So I could have some fun if I wanted to on the rope swings. Um, yeah, there's the old houses for you. I'll show you some more in a minute. Um, the mock tracking through the bushes going down a bit gills, that, that side. So we're going to go up this way, and we're going to go around. Um, we're going to take um, a little mystery tour for you. What I know, and yes, I'm walking without my cane again. I've got my cane off the floor. Yes, allegedly blind people can't walk without the cane. Allegedly, what a load of bull crap! This is one of the trolling comments I've had. Um, but hey ho. They just keep keep me entertained. Um, but uh, a cane is only there to detect obstacles and to let people know that you cannot see or that you have a visual impairment. But we just stayed anyway um, on the old house ruins. Got bricks on the floor. Yeah, I do use my cane now and then, but not all the time. And we've got some fossils there, folks, of some of the ruins. As you see, it all slipped and all went down there. All slipped and all went down there into the river, folks. Um, yeah, we just out walking off the beach and trying to stay away from people, keeping our social distance of two metres, six foot apart, because other people don't um, realise that blind people can't see and don't know how to keep their distance away from blind people. Um, so this is my way of doing it myself. 
Just making some shots of the ivy, what's overgrown on the trees. Um, yeah, just walking through the bushes. And I know for her to keep the cane high, so I don't end up head butt up busting trees. And just up here, there's an old chimney. Yeah. I'll show you the old chimney next to some bluebells that are just on the floor here, what I grow here all the time. And there you go, Fox. The good old chimney. Stay tuned, more come to film my outro before I do any filming actually today while I'm here with the beautiful birds and the geese and the swans. So, so we're here at Clues Park, also known as the Duck Park in Higher Broughton. Go and follow me on Instagram and YouTube at Blind Explorer 2226, folks. Out on my daily exercise, checking on my family, making sure they're doing well, and if they need any shopping. So go and follow me on Instagram and YouTube at Blind Explorer 2226. Share the love, peace and love, folks. Just listen to this. Beautiful. Peace and love.